Welcome back everyone. This is Taiba Littles with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a name with a shadow using the Pixar app and then taking that PNG over to your Cricut Design Space app and cutting it from your iPhone directly to your Cricut. And I think this was like the coolest video. This is an updated video because one of my subscribers showed me a different way that I can actually remove the lines. So I want to include that in this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is press Pixar. And my plus sign scroll to the bottom and where it says color backgrounds we're going to choose transparent at the bottom scroll to text and i'm going to put joyce as the name and then scroll to choose your font that is the font that i actually used for this tutorial and make it a little bigger you'll see the t for stroke select that make sure your color is black and make it as big as you can, 100%. Go to apply. And that is how you create your name with the um, shadow, the outline or the offset, whichever one everyone likes to call it. But after you do this, we're gonna go to next, save, save. So we're all done with PixArt. Now we're gonna go to Cricut Design Space, new project. Upload, select from photo library, select, okay. The first part we're going to do is the shadow. So we are not going to edit anything. We're just going to leave it as is. Just continue to click next. YouTube, Joyce, shadow. And you don't have to name your shadows that. That's just what I name them to keep up with it. Okay. Now we're going to go to close, upload it one more time, select from photo library, all photos. Okay, now it's time for cleanup. So what I'm going to do is click my remove feet, um, I'm remove option down here and just tap on the black. Hope I tapped on the black. Nope, I didn't tap on anything. There we go and continue to do it for cleanup and you can make the screen smaller or bigger by pinching and I think I erased the white with that one so I gotta make the screen bigger so I can see plus I have big fingers <laughs> okay so now what my subscriber told me to do was instead of trying to erase the outline by hand what i can do is i can select next and in this menu it says the speckle the bottom left corner click on that and i can control the speckles like that isn't that cool yes absolutely love that so now just slide back and forth with the speckle to remove the small lines and go to next and i'm going to go to let's see youtube Joyce script and I can see when I look to the right that I missed a little part of the O but I think that's going to probably save me some drama so I'm just going to leave it like that there we go we're trying to cut those little itty bitty pieces okay so now I'm going to select my name and shadows and go to the bottom right insert now be careful with this you do not want to resize one at a time you know resize both at the same time because if you do you will throw off your outline so i'm resizing it and for width because it comes in really really huge for width i usually do excuse me you guys about four and a half so now i have these and sometimes i end up changing the orientation of my video so i can see it so i go from landscape i unlock it so i can switch back and forth Okay, so now I want to change the colors. Let's see, layers. If you select the layers tab, you can see your layers here like that. So that's good to know. Go to edit and just scroll to cut. I'm going to do this in purple, probably light purple will show up better. Then I'll flip it back, select apply. And then what color do I want my shadow? 
maybe blue, purple, and yellow. Maybe. We'll try it. Okay. So I have my yellow. And I just put my font on top. Like so. And there's my script. Now if you select it all, you can actually control your width at the bottom. You see it's 4.7. So I can make my width 4.5. Like so. So now we are finished with our font. So the next thing we're going to do is at the bottom right corner, we're going to click make it. And there's our mats. And you can actually look at the inches of the mats. So you can see our shadow is going to be a little over two inches, close to four, um, close to five inches and select the mat. So what you're going to do is choose which mat you want to cut first and then select the green button continue in the bottom right. And it's actually going, going to connect to your Cricut. Make sure you watch the other videos in this blog post or in this free lesson so that you can get a full clarification of the process. But I just want to include the speckle feature because that was one of the things that one of my great subscribers told me to do. And I want you guys to know that as well. So see you in the next tutorial.